Hi there. Welcome to Space Videos. Let's jump right in with the news that the James Webb Telescope has been hit by a micrometeorite causing it some damage. The telescope is the successor to the aging, but still operational, Hubble Space Telescope which has now been in space for over 30 years. James Webb, which cost $10 billion and took some 30 years to develop, launched only a few months ago. On December 25, 2021, an Ariane 5 rocket carried it into space. Decollage liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself, James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Even though the Ariane 5 rocket which had launched the telescope has one of the widest payload fairings, some 5.4 meters, it still wasn't big enough to hold James Webb in its full form. So the telescope had to be folded so it could fit into the launcher. Once it reached space, James Webb began a series of complex and lengthy procedures during its unfolding process. From launch, the telescope then traveled some 1.5 million kilometers slash 1 million miles from Earth to its final destination called Lagrange Point 2. This is a special point in space where the combined gravitational forces of the Earth and the Sun will keep the telescope in a fixed orbit relative to these two bodies. Traveling through space is not without its dangers, not least from space debris and micrometeorites. These micrometeoroids are tiny particles of asteroids, smaller than a grain of sand, that are traveling through space. Even though they are extremely small they are traveling at very high velocities. They have an average speed of 10 km per second, that's 22,500 miles per hour, and at this speed they can cause damage when they collide with something. And this is what happened with the James Webb Telescope. In May, one of these tiny fragments collided with, and damaged, one of its 18 special hexagonal mirror segments. The mirror that was hit is called C3 and is on the lower left of the telescope. In a statement, NASA has said that this is not the first meteoroid to hit the telescope, there have been four others. But these were smaller and the most recent strike was bigger than they had anticipated. However, NASA insists that the James Webb Telescope was still performing at a level that exceeds all mission requirements despite a marginally detectable effect in the data. They go on to say, Webb's mirror was engineered to withstand bombardment from the micrometeoroid environment at its orbit around Sun-Earth Lagrange point. Furthermore, they say Webb's capability to sense and adjust mirror positions enables partial correction for the result of impacts. By adjusting the position of the affected segment, engineers can cancel out part of the distortion. This minimizes the effect of any impact, although not all of the degradation can be cancelled out this way. Engineers have already performed a first such adjustment for the recently affected segment C3, and additional planned mirror adjustments will continue to fine-tune this correction. While this recent impact may be concerning, NASA seems confident that it will not significantly affect the operation of the James Webb Telescope and they are preparing for many years of successful astronomy. Next month, on July 12, NASA will release the first full-color images and spectroscopic data. This will give us our first taste of Webb at its full power, as it begins its science mission and unfolds the infrared universe. We look forward to these images and also to many, many years of discoveries with the James Webb Telescope.